Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Tarragate Nicole here. How you guys doing? It is Friday, the 16th of February, which means that we are more than halfway done because this is a short month. Uh, more than halfway done with February's frugal February. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I am here to report that I'm still doing really well, actually. <laughs> actually doing really well. Um, uh, so welcome if you're new to my channel, welcome back if you're not, and I love you for coming back. So today we're going to talk about what I've learned, um, end of the week, and I haven't like learned anything really, really profound except the fact that I'm very, I'm more thankful for things, uh, when they happen to me, when they're given to me. Like for example, this week. They bought us so many snacks because it was Valentine's Day week. And it was like, yes, because I didn't have to, I didn't feel deprived and I didn't have to come out of my pocket to buy cookies and candy and all this stuff. Like, cause you know, you're not gonna go to the dollar store and buy cookies and candies and all these goodies for yourself because you're not supposed to be spending any money. But I ended up getting them anyway. It's like, you know, the universe and God provides because I end up having to enjoy cookies and candies and cakes and whatnot and didn't spend a dollar and I was very appreciative of it like I don't know how many times I told the people who bought these things in thank you thank you so much for your husband sending this thank you so much for you baking these that was so thoughtful and then on top of it like you know I was consuming a lot of times you got to remember also, I don't know if I touched on this before, to kind of tell your co-workers and friends that you are doing for Go February so that they don't always come up to you asking you if you want to buy lunch, if you want to do this, you want to do that. And now this one lady in my office, she does it anyway. Like, she'll come around, she'll be like, anybody want lunch? Tell you want lunch? Does she want lunch? And all the other girls, like the other girl with me, she's doing her fat ass February because she's trying to lose weight. And she was, uh, she's like, she's doing frugal February. No, she's not buying lunch. And she's not buying lunch either because she's trying to lose weight. So we almost have a little alliance in the office. So um, we're doing that. And it's like nice because you don't feel alone. Like I didn't feel alone on my journey. So if you're doing this by yourself and you can rope a friend into doing all these challenges with you, or just ask them, not roll them in, then you should. It actually makes you feel better because it's almost like you have somebody on your side. Um, and someone to kind of put you in check when you want to or you don't want to. For instance, a girl doing fat ass February. Um, we had cookies. Someone baked or something. And they kept coming in saying how they were cracked cookies. Like they were so good that you had to have more than one. Let me tell y'all, I had uh, the ones that I picked up and I didn't have any more after that. Because to me, they weren't that great. And I made sure I turned to her and I was like, hey, you know, you're not missing out on anything because you're just not. Like, they're not as good as everybody's making them seem. They don't feel bad because you're not eating them. So <clears throat> she was very happy about that because it made her feel like, oh, that's great. At least you let me know that I'm not missing out. So, yeah. Um, so have an alliance, like that's another thing. Have an alliance, someone who, people who understand you, what you're doing for that month and, and are able to support you. But then, and then on the Valentine's Day, on actual Valentine's Day, um, one of our guys, our fleet manager, he's so awesome. He like, I was standing there working, 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 and I had my hand up like this, like just waiting for something. And he put a hundred dollars in my hand and was like, you ladies buy yourselves lunch. Cause I didn't bring you guys any cocky cookies or cake. What? And it was funny because it was around the time, like I was really stressed and it was around the time where I would have wanted to go out and get something greasy or just buy a lunch that I didn't have to prepare myself. Look at how God, good guy is. It's like he just gave the money and gave the money to me so I took it personally like yes and I was like honestly at one point if it wasn't like an odd number of people I'd have been like let's divide the money and y'all can give me my $20 and y'all can go ahead and eat because that's who I've become now like I really think about like do I have lunch dude it was something I didn't really want but I had lunch and I was like just give me the money and I'll take the money and use it for something else that I want or I need but I did just end up going with the flow and got the lunch and I almost wish I had the money because the lunch was like just okay that day I had got a burger it was it was okay 
So I was like, I wish I'd asked for my little twenty dollars out of that hundred or fifteen or whatever it would have been. But either way, I was thankful for it, and it was provided because it was something that I felt like I something I would have probably slipped up on. Like I really just want something easy. Like today is Friday, and I do have the frozen lasagna to eat that I haven't eaten yet. But I kind of want pizza. Weird. So I think I'm gonna stop off at a supermarket and. Um, get a thin crust pizza because it's so funny how you notice also things that you do and don't really like for instance the pizza I like I used to always get the deep dish or rising crust from DiGiorno but then I had tried that Newman's own spinach um, flatbread kind of flat thin crust pizza and I was literally legitimately upset when I realized that the last time I picked up a pizza, I picked up the rising crust. I was mad, y'all, because I really thought I picked up the thin crust. Because now I realize that with pizzas that go, frozen pizzas that go in the oven, thin crust for me is the way to go. I don't know, they, they taste better to me. So I've learned that about myself. Um, but the moral of my story was to say that it's almost like things are provided to you just when you need them. There are so many times that you're getting free things like my boss would be like, oh, y'all want breakfast sandwiches or they'd be like, oh, someone is paying for lunch. And you just sometimes you're like, oh, thanks. And that's it because you already have mentality that you could have bought it for yourself. But in the instance where you're not spending money on yourself, it is so great. to It's like a more of an appreciation when you don't have to spend the money yourself. Speaking of which, Valentine's Day passed and my boo, he gave me a gift card to my store, which is what I really wanted because y'all know I've been um, eyeing that pink blazer, which is not practical, but I really love it. And I didn't, I was gonna use my miscellaneous money on it, like scrounge my miscellaneous money and use it on it, but I have like been having things where I have to get blood pressure medicine and I have to get pads and things like that. So my miscellaneous money just keeps going out the door. So I was able to pick up my blazer with the gift card, which doesn't count because it's not a part of my budget. It's extra money, it's a gift. So I was able to pick up my blazer and my coworker, who's a guy, he wasn't going to um, buy his cami, his $5 cami. So he let me use his, he bought it on like my behalf for $5. And so my $35 from $5 and I used my gift card and didn't pay any money. Look how that worked out. It's like for the tiniest blessings. I'd be so souped, okay? So now I have my blazer and I have a cami to wear under it. And you guys know, I think that my girl, Jamel, she was looking for a styling video. So now that I have it in my possession, I'll be working on Ju Julem. I'm sorry, I'm messing your name up, Julem. I'm gonna be working on your, Jalem, make sure you put your real, is that your real name? It's not, put it down in the comments so that I can call you the real name. That's my ride or die, y'all. So, um, yeah, it's like, I. I could start a styling video is what I was gonna say for you. Um, and then anything else? I think that was pretty much it. That's enough about clothes, but that's how I've been doing so far. I've been doing great. Haven't been spending outside my budget. I've been doing good. If I spend anything like chocolate or something, it's out of a budget that I already have. All right, guys, remember in order to be great, you have to be grateful and I'm so grateful for you all. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Remember to comment down below how you are doing on whatever challenge that you are doing right now. All right. Bye.